We have two teams coming out now, Rock Celtic and Rampart Celtic have been led out by the referees and the linesmen. Lovely even for a game of football. Dry, has a range yet. Bit of a cold in the air, bit of a chill in the air. You see the start 11's just coming out now. Big occasion for local football. Hopefully it'll be an absolute showpiece of a game. Both teams looking up and ready for this one. Starting 11s here today. Rampart Celtic with number one, Ridwan Bod Bodrun. Number two, Aaron Farron. Number three, Eamon Rogers. Number four, Josh Larkin. Five, Gavin Lennon. Six, Brian McGuinness. Seven, Owen McGuinness. Eight, Stephen Sharkey. Nine, Sean Bailey. Eleven, Niall Ferguson. Subs then, I had twelve, Adam Bolton. Thirteen, Liam Shocknessy. Fourteen, Sean McQuillan. Fifteen, Luke McArdle. Sixteen, Paul Gray. Seventeen, Paul Fee. Eighteen, Dara Akinati. The manager, of course, Kieran Pickering. Rock Celtic team then. Number one, Owen Flanagan. Number two, Frank McCory. Number three, Brian Soren. Four, Fick Rohanan. Five, Adam Hoban. Six, Joss Hanna. Seven, Conal Brady. Eight, Adam Gartland. Ten, Rory Kirk. Eleven, Orna Hanlon. Subs. Twelve, Aaron McQuillan. Thirteen, Niall Henry. Fourteen, Drew Kieran's. Fifteen, Peter Wolf. Sixteen, Conor Rafferty. Seventeen, Fiona Ryan. Eighteen, David McGill. Manager Kieran Keane and Dave McGill. <laughs> Referee just calling off the captains there at the minute. Looks like Ramparts have won the toss and opt to kick off. Ramparts will be shooting from left to right in your picture. Rock Celtic shooting obviously from right to left. Lovely backdrop for the game there with the Cooley Mountains in the background. Plenty of light here with the with the floodlights. <laughs> Rampart's ready to set off here. A couple of loose balls in the pitch. Number 11 just in front of us, Niall Ferguson. Starting obviously in a right wing position. Looks like both teams have set up with a four at the back. Presumably we have four, four, two. We'll see how to set up now in a minute. It's Lee Wright ready to kick the game off. Referee giving the whistle now. 7.15 on the button. Checking with the keepers. And we're off. 2021 Clancy Par Cup Final coming live from Clancy Park. Showpiece of the Dundalk District League. Long ball over the top from Aaron Farnan. Keeper will pick that one up. Keeper Owen Flanagan. Long ball from the keeper. Aaron Farnan trying to hold back the number seven, Connor Brady. Puts it off, put it out to touch. Quick throw from number three, Brian Sorahan. Tries to put it over the top, well dealt with by Gavin Lennon. Brandon McGuinness bet to the ball with that one, Aaron Farnham hoofs it long. Number four, Fierke O'Hanlon will deal with that one. Strong tackle in the sh from number six on number nine, Sean Bailey, number six being Josh Hanna. Goes for a free kick. Looks like Gavin Lennon's going to take the free kick. He's looking long. Probably looking towards Lee Wright for this one with a knock on to Sean Bailey. Oh, Lee was just a tad too short for that one. Keep Rowan Flanagan sends it long again. Gavin Lennon puts it into touch on the far side of the pitch. Number two, Frank McCrory. Taking the throw in from the far side of the pitch, as we look at it. On to the captain. 
Oh, Josh Larkin on the pressure there from number 10, Rory Kirk. Puts it out off him for, for a goal kick. Keeper ready is gone looking for the ball. Long kick from Ridwan. One in the air by Lee Wright, knocking over Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey race with number five, Adam Hoban. Keeper comes early to collect it. Keeper Owen Flanagan send him heading back to his goals. He'll take his six seconds. Send it long again. Looks like our tactic today is to send it long and try and deal with the dropping ball. Oh, it's an untidy ball from the centre midfield there. From Stephen Sharkey. Number three, Ryan Soren, as we look at him. Throwing it in. Nice touch back. I'm well won by Stephen Sharkey under, under pressure. He's controlled the ball, sends it to Gavin Lennon. Gavin Lennon looking for a free man, finds Eamon Rogers. Eamon Rogers looking for a ball over the top to Owen McGuinness. Owen McGuinness putting pressure on the number two and wins a throw in. That number two is Frank McCrory. Both teams just sizing each other up here at the minute. <laughs> Certainly looks like Ramparts have elected for a 4-4-2 with two strikers with Sean Bailey and Lee Wright up front. Looks like Rock are leaving one man up top at the minute. That's number 10, Rory LeCurk just holding the ball up and dispossessed by Brendan McGuinness. Nice ball over the top for Lee Wright. Uh, slightest touch just too short for Sean Bailey. Number 11 on the pressure from Stephen Sharkey. Number 8 sends a long ball. Keeper comes so short, stood tall, and keep the ball it was a good shot by Warren O'Hanlon just off the keeper's chest. Rampart's been just very untidy here at the minute. Don't know if the nerves are getting to them or what's going on here. Gavin. Lennon with a strong challenge. Sends it out for a touch. Number 11, Orna Hanlon's been left free every time there. <laughs> Rock Sally just passing across the middle. Sent a nice ball across the top, and Aaron Farnan had to deal with it. The keeper came called for it as well, but didn't have time to get it back to him. So under pressure from number 12, Aaron McQuillan. So it goes out for a corner for Rock Celtic, first corner of the game. No score here at the minute, about five minutes gone. I think Rock Celtic on top of the first five minutes, I think Brown Parts might feel a bit of nerves. It's an ink swinging corner. Rocks out there loading the back post. And it sends it to the front post. The keeper was bet. Josh Larkin cleared it off the, out, the other side, out to the left hand side. With number 11, Niall Ferguson on the ball at the minute. This was asked by number 12, Aaron McQuillan. Again, Rock Celtic sending it long. Dealt with easily by Josh Larkin. Sean Bailey unhappy with the ball. Been played a bit too long from that time. Left back plays back to keeper. Straight in the midfield at the number six. Good touch by Josh Hanna. Stephen Sharkey takes on the control. Ryan McGuinness out to Owen McGuinness on the right wing. Back to his right back, Aaron Farnan. Stephen Sharkey on the pressure from behind. Wins the free. Aaron Farnan often to take his time over this one. In no hurry. Imagine lane for Lee Wright. He gets a run on the ball, but it just beats him out to touch. <coughs> K 
keep on Flanagan, sending it up. He'll send it long again here. Seems to be the tactic they've elected to play this week. Long ball up. Well won by Stephen Sharkey in the middle. Good strong tackle by Niall Ferguson. Sean Bailey back. Oh, by number three, Brian Sorahan. Niall Ferguson again in to tidy up for the touch. Brandon McGinnis swept by number 11 there, Orno Hanlon. Number 12, Rory Kirk. Dispossessed by Aaron Farnan. Very untidy here at the minute. Rampart struggled to put a couple of passes together. Rock Salik certainly on top with about eight minutes gone. Still nil nil here in Clancy Park. Keeper Ridwan often to send it short to Aaron Farnan, who looks for his right wing Lyle Ferguson at the minute. Wins a touch off number wins a throw in off number three for Rock Celtic. Seems to be quite a bit of interchange already between the seven and eleven here. Niall Liam Niall Ferguson and, and Owen McGuinness. Niall Ferguson taking it off the wing and often beating two men. Referee for a touch for Rock Celtic. Sean Bailey trying to get control of the ball but didn't do so that time. Brendan McGuinness tried to play it long for Owen McGuinness out on the left wing at the minute. Owen McGuinness wins the ball back after an untidy ball. Didn't quite get the ball he was trying to the, the, the Dutch he was trying to play there. He was looking for Sean Bailey in the corner there. Keep Owen Flanagan. I can see this sent long again. Sent long again. It's out by Gavin Lennon. That was looking for number 11, Owen O'Hanlon from Rock Celtic. Throwing from Rock Celtic. Well picked up by number 11 there, Owen O'Hanlon. He plays it through to number 6, Josh. Or number 11, that was. Good tackle by Gavin Lennon. Picked up in by the right back there, Frank McCrory. Put out for a touch. Eamon Rogers will take this one. Eamon Rogers looking for a free man. Not much movement there at the moment. Looks like he's sending it long to Owen McGuinness. He's beaten to it by number seven, Connor Brady. Stephen Sharkey, unlucky with that touch, gets taken out from behind by number six. Josh Hanna, ref says play on. Looking for a long ball to Owen McGuinness on the right wing, left wing at the minute. Touch in the back. Free kick to Rampart Celtic. Ian Rogers looking for the quick one. Released it to Gavin Lennon, who plays it back to him. Kiefer Woodwan tries to send it long into the middle. Lee Wright dropping all the way back this far, trying to get a touch of the ball. Manager Kieran Pickering won't be too pleased with these first 10 minutes. He'll be looking for his team to settle into the game a bit more, trying to get a touch of the ball. At the minute, it's just untidy pass Pressure, after untidy Pressure. pass. Keep him there, push up! Certainly, managers Kieran Keenan and Dave McGill will be will be happy with this, their side start of the game. They've had more of the possession, but haven't really threatened anything. Everything's been in the middle of the field so far. And here, as we say that, here we come with an attack. Number eight releases the number 12. 12. Aaron McQuillan chasing the ball. Ready. Really keeper Ridwan came early. Releases it early again to Aaron Farnan, who go, go plays into a bit of space. Captain Orno Hanlon battling hard for the ball here. Wins it back. Brendan McGuinness tidying up in the middle, plays it out to his left back, Eamon Rogers, who, oh, has lost the ball. Tidied up by Gavin Lennon, that was number seven who won that, Conor Brady. Okay, taken in under control by Sean Bailey, it was a good ball from Eamon Rogers. Sean Bailey, breezing past the number two, Frank McCory, and wins a throw in 
of the centre half, number four, Freak Row Hanlon. Looks like it's going to be a long throw in from left back Eamon Rogers. Stephen Sharkey comes close first. Another throw in, same thing again, I think. Yeah, Eamon Rogers. Again, not much of Sean Bailey comes short for it, takes the touch, keeps it, trying to turn number two inside out and wins the corner. Or well, ref decides it's a goal kick. Rampart Celtic. Unlucky with that piece of play. Keep on flagging, I guess we'll, we'll send that long again here. We'll be looking for number 11, Orn O'Hanlon. Drifts in centre this time. Niall Ferguson takes possession, is dispossessed by number 12, Aaron McQuillan. Wins it back, plays to Aaron Farnell right back, who plays a long ball into this rocks out of the calf, but it goes out and runs out for a throw in. Quick throw by Rock Celtic. Full back number five, Adam Hoban on the ball. Looking to send it long, he's trying to send it long to number 12 there, Aaron McPullen, but it was picked out easily by number two, Aaron Farn, Rampart Celtic. Again, the only option here for Rock Celtic seems to be to send it long and hope for a breaking ball, where you can see Rampart trying to play more penetrating passes like that one. It's a good idea, Lee Wright was, was alive to that ball, it was just a wee bit too too lively for him. Long kick by keeper Owen Flanagan. Looking for number seven, Connor Brady, but it drifted out for Rampart's throw in. 15 minutes gone here in Clancy Park, 0-0, no score. Very good game so far. Josh Larkin, running across the middle, Aaron Farnan, looking for Niall Ferguson, it takes into his feet under heavy pressure from number three, Brian Soren, loses out. Brian Soren looking to find, ooh, number 10, Rory Kirk. Picked out by Josh Locken, excellent tackle by Josh Locken, excellent interception. Now Sean Bailey on the ball, he'll run this one. Laid it off to Lee Rice. Good tackle by number five, Adam Hoban, to dispossess Niall Ferguson, who was on a promising run there. Rampart Celtic throw from a near side in the Rock Celtic half. Aaron Farnan looks for Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey tried to play it over, a wee flick over, I think, looking for Niall Ferguson, didn't quite work out, but they've won a throw. Aaron Farnham finds Sean Bailey again, who has kept it in play, I think. Out for a goal kick. Rocks has the keeper, will I'd like to send it long again. He'd be looking for either number 10 or 11, Rory Kirk or Oren Hanlon. Picked up by Stephen Sharkey, number 8, under no pressure. Byron McGuinness, under pressure in the middle, plays it back to Aaron Farn, plays a diving header back through the middle. Ian Rogers now in possession, plays Stephen Sharkey, centre midfield. Plays it across the right back. Niall Ferguson again, just in centre midfield. Seems to have drifted inside a bit. Great ball to Stephen Shark. He challenges, goes at two men, still keeps possession of the ball. He's done well. And then well read by Brian Sora in there to put it out of play. Right back, Aaron Farnan again with the throw. He'd be looking for Sean Bailey. Looks like Lee Wright's coming charging across. Untidy again. But better play from Ramparts this time. Words of advice from manager Kieran Pickering for his centre half or centre midfielder Brendan McGuinness. You're just telling him to sit back, relax, and try to enjoy the game a bit more, you notice. Thank you. 
There's Sean Bailey on the ball looking to release the ball there to Lee Wright. Owen Flanagan welcomes that ball. Lee Wright was hunting that one down. Aaron Farnham wins that one again, another long ball. Owen O'Han and now tidy tucked down. Niall Ferguson. Sliding tackle by Aaron Farnan, wins the ball, but gives it away to Brian Soren. Tidy pass to Levin O'Han, who has an effort from Long. Keeper would not trouble Keeper Ridwan at all. He'll happily take them. Release it early to Aaron Eamon Rogers. Eamon Rogers gives to his left wing Owen McGuinness. Sean Bailey dropped right back now at the minute and loses the ball deep in his own half. Ramparts in a or Rock Sally can attack here, three men on the ball. Picked up by Gavin Lennon, sends to Niall Ferguson. You can hear Lee Wright screaming for a ball, he puts it into the channel. Picked up by number number five, Adam Hoban. So his number eight, he sends a long ball up to number ten, Rory Kirk. Well won by Gavin Lennon. Eamon Rogers in to tidy it up. Oh McGuinness sends it inside to Brendan McGuinness. The two McGuinness men combine them well. Sends it back to his centre half. It opts to put it right into touch for some reason there. 20 minutes gone here in Clancy Park. Still nil nil. As I say that, Aaron O'Hanlon in a possession, in a promising position. On the outside of Rampart's ball. Stephen Sharkey clears the ball on very untidily over his own bar. He goes out for a Rock Celtic throw corner. It's the second corner of the game, both of them to Rock Celtic. Bit of delay here, we tried to find that ball, I think it went into the bushes. Again, Rock Celtic look as if they're overloading the back post. They thought, said they thought that the last time, but they went near post, so we'll see where they go this time. You see Josh Larkin trying to remove the man off the keeper. It's a front post ball, it's an excellent ball, and it's well dealt with by Josh Larkin. Number seven comes on to it, looks for a shot, Connor Brady, but scuffed it a little. Well cleared out by Owen McGuinness, up into the left wing position. Ramparts left one man up top, so they didn't have anyone to chase that one. Ramparts trying to get out now. Well picked out by Josh Larkin to Niall Ferguson. Niall Ferguson released it to Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey very deep in his own half, trying to get a ball. Plays an excellent ball to Lee Wright. In the far corner as we look at it, taking on number two. Number two, Frank McGrory, wins out in that battle. Sends it out for a throw. Lee Wright takes it early. Eamon Rogers send the long ball to the back post, back post will find Niall Ferguson with an excellent header, excellent ball, excellent header, fantastic goal, fantastic goal, well done Niall, great ball from Ian Rogers over there, it's an excellent goal, so it's 1-0 here to Rampart Celtic, there is about 25 minutes gone, it's an excellent goal. Aaron Rodgers with the, with the whip ball right to the back post. Niall Ferguson was left on his own. Head of the ball, keeper had absolutely no chance. Straight back into the Rock, Rock Celtic. Tried to play a long ball over the top, looking for number 12. Ro number 12, Aaron McQuillan. Didn't quite work out. Number 10 at the moment, Aaron Rory Kirk in possession of the ball. Send it out for another throw. That's the third throw of the game. All three going to Rock Celtic. 20 minutes gone here in Clancy Park. Score is currently 1 0 to Rampart Celtic. Goal from Niall Ferguson. A header on the near side post as we look at it. Corner in. Dipping ball, number 8 free. But the ref spotted a foul. Hands in the back. I think that was number 8. Adam Gartland found himself free at the back post, but I think he'd, he'd given a little push. So it's a. Uh, Free kick out. <laughs> 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 
Long kick by Ridwan. Picked up by Lee Wright. He's trying to send it on to Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey was moving there for the ball. Number six in possession there at the moment. Josh Hanna gives it away to Brendan McGuinness. Dealt with by Brian Sorahan. Sends it long. Josh Larkin. Stephen, Sor Stephen Charkey. That's it. Plays it back to Aaron Farnan. Aaron Farnan is out of time. Has lifts his head. Has a look. Tries to send a long ball up to Lee Wright. Pressure on the number five. Adam Hoban means he puts it out for a throw. Ramhart's taking their time with this one, starting to settle into the game a bit more. You can see that difference. Sean Bailey with a handball. Ref didn't spot it. Well turned by Sean. Number five not happy with that decision. Makes the ref know, lets the ref know about it. Out for a corner, that number five being Adam Hoban. It's out for a corner now at the minute. Corner here, it looks like Niall Ferguson taking the corner. Sean Bailey front post, Eamon Rogers arriving front post. Lee right back post. And it goes over everyone. Out for a goal kick. It's unlucky. Flagon. Flanagan's going to send it long again. Number 10, Orn O'Hanlon wins the ball, but well dealt with by Brandon McGuinness, who sends it long to Sean Bailey, who's in the corner with a bit of space. Chips it back almost to Lee Wright, intercepted by number four there, Faker O'Hanlon. Again, long ball sent for the 11, who beats Gavin Lennon, puts him two, two against three. Brandon McGuinness gets back to cover up and does excellently to cover get that one away. Rock Celtic looking to send a long ball to the back post again, looking for number 12, Aaron McQuillan. That's well easy by Aaron Farnan. Number 6, Josh Hanna in possession of the ball in the middle. Back to Josh Hanna again. who will have another look. Send it out to his right wing. Right back, up into centre. Orno Hannon on the ball, trying to release it early to number 10, Rory Kirk. Keeper, keeper Ridwan came early to take the ball. Tries to send it long. That would by the back line here for Rock Celtic. Middle of the pitch. Aaron Rodgers send it on to Owen McGuinness. Back to Aaron Rodgers. He's in centre to Brendan McGuinness. Aaron Farnan on the ball. Sends it to Niall Ferguson. Good piece of play by Ramparts here. Niall Ferguson unlucky looking for the early ball to Sean Bailey. But it was well read by Brian Sorhan now on the ball here on the left wing. Pushing on. Getting a bit of time on the ball. Release it to number 11, Orno Hannon. Dispossessed by Brian Brendan McGuinness. Stephen Sharkey. Sends a quick ball up to Sean Bailey. He was just fuzzing on the end of that one. Number 10, Rory Kirk trying to keep it in play. He does so and beats Gavin Lennon as he does that. Plays it back to the man who's on his own, number 12, and onto the captain. Ooh, cleared off the line by number 4, Josh Larkin. Good piece of play over on that far left corner as we look at it by, by Rory Kirk. And a good shot by Orna Hanlon. Long ball, long clearance by Brendan McGuinness. Up keeper comes out of his box, takes a touch, sends it across to number five, Adam Hoban. Plenty of time on the ball. Ramparts allowing him the time on the ball here. Ooh, and that's a that's a harsh, harsh tackle, that one. That's a very harsh tackle by number six, Josh Hanna. Arm farning down, screaming wildly in pain here. That sounds like a bad one. You can hear that you could hear that contact from from here. Number six obviously will plead his innocence. He was certainly late to that ball. Aaron Farnan 
talking to the referee. Might not be as bad as we think, hopefully not. We're going to see something like that on the pitch. Referee's going to have a chat with him now. Chat with number six. Captain Orna Hanlon stand close to by. No cards issued that time. Just a stern warning, I think. Good to see Aaron Farnham back on his feet, although he is hobbling. He's standing quite gingerly on that on that right ankle, I think it is. But I think he's okay to go on, yeah. He looks like he's happy to play on. Josh Larkin now with a free kick deep inside his own half. Send it long to the back post. Looking for Stephen Sharkey, well read by number eight, Adam Garland. Tidy interchange of Josh Larkin onto Niall Ferguson who finds himself a bit of space out here on the left wing. Cutting inside on his left foot. Sends it far across to Eamon Rogers. Eamon Rogers tries to run past the left back. Not un unlucky with that one. So number 10, Rory Kirk here against Josh Larkin. Looks like Rory Kirk. Manager Kieran Pickering here, trying to deal with this player off the pitch. Assistant Deck Murphy shouting the instructions across. Looks like our left wing Owen McGuinness is going to temporarily go to right back. It was a very threatening corner there. Nobody got to it at all. If any kind of touch would have sent it in, keeper was bet and all defenders were bet. So it's kind of for a goal kick. Looks like Aaron Farnan is struggling with this injury here. He's down here on a, to, to my left hand side. On the left hand side of your pitch. Trying to shake it off, but it's not shaking off at the minute. Looks like he's really struggling. Keeper Ridwan sends it long this time. Well dealt with by number four, five, Adam Hoban there. So our temporary right back, Owen McGuinness. Looking for Sean Bailey. Sends it to Niall Ferguson, he takes takes nicely on the chest. Surrounded by three, four players at the minute. Gets the ball away for Owen McGuinness. Owen McGuinness puts pressure on the number eight, Garland. Rocks out to get it away. Number 11, Orno Hanlon. Trying looking for number 12, Aaron McCullen. Sent back up by Brian Soren. Lee Wright takes control of a loose ball in the middle of the pitch there. Uh, goes out for a throw to Rock Celtic. Oh, referee gives it to Rampart Celtic actually. Rampart Celtic, quick throw by Owen McGuinness to Niall Ferguson. Takes it by two or three players before it goes out again. Some, some loose tackles been thrown in here at the minute, maybe a bit of frustration by Rock Celtic. Rampart Celtic certainly been the better team for the last 10 minutes. With half an hour gone here, scores 1 0 to Rampart Celtic. Now uh, Ferguson tried the shot from far out, trying to catch the keeper off guard, but it didn't work out. Looks like Aaron Farnan isn't struggling here, but it'll have to come off. That's unfortunate to see. Having a great game there. So it looks like our number 16, Paul Gray, will come in for him. Confirmation there, number two, Aaron Farnan comes off. Number 16, Paul Gray comes on. Looks like a straight swap in at right back. Aaron Farnan visibly displeased with that, having to come off. He's certainly enjoying himself out there. Loose ball by Brian Sower in there, led to a quick shot from Sean Bailey, just drifted to the right of the keeper's goals. 
Keep Owen Flanagan with the ball here again. I think we know where this one's going. Long ball this time into the center. Josh Hanna gets a nudge on the ball. Picked up by Niall Ferguson. Still onto Stephen Sharkey. Sends it to the left back, Evan Rogers. Good turnover ball by Lee Wright looking for Owen McGuinness. Keeper comes far to collect it. Sends it over to his right back. Number two, Frank McCrory. Who keeps going on his run. Passes it on to number seven, Connor Brady, who picks up a free kick off Gavin Lennon. <laughs> 33 minutes gone here in Clancy Park. Score currently 1 0 to Rampart Celtic. Score Niall Ferguson. Rock Celtic with a free kick. Far side air picture. Look, it drops to number 11. Orno Hanlon. Ball is put out by Josh Larkin for a corner. Corner number four of the game. All to Rock Celtic. Corner comes in, nice corner to centre. Keeper's bet, number eight was bet. That was unlucky. Okay, ball comes clear to Sean Bailey up front on his own. He holds possession, keep holds of possession, waiting for support from his teammates, which does arrive. He's got Lee Wright over in the far left as long as Steve Sharkey. Lee Wright takes possession of the ball with an untidy touch, sends it out for a throw, but under pressure from number seven, Connor Brady. Rocks have to play it across the back. Number five there, Adam Hoban in possession of the winner, plays it on to Brian Soren. Brian Soren sends it long. Paul Gray keeps it in touch. Loses possession to number 11, Orno Hanlon. Tries, tries to release Rory Kirk early. It's picked up by Ridwan. Really plays it short to Josh Larkin, the centre half. He finds Niall Ferguson out here on the right wing, who's getting enjoying himself out here. Try to play it back to Paul Gray. Paul Gray sends it out for a corner. Number three, Brian Soren, gives it to 11, Captain Orno Hanlon, tries to take around too many players, loses possession of the ball, Paul Gray loses, a loses out here, gives away a free kick to Rock. Friendly interchange between Paul and, 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 Orno and Aaron McCullen there, ref calls it all back. Number 11, Orno Hanlon, stand over this one. Two men here on the wall at the minute, Brandon McGuinness and Niall Ferguson. Keeper with one talking to them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rock players waiting for a ball in. Orno Hanlon opts to shoot, I think. Release it early to Owen McGuinness on the left wing. Overlap by Eamon Rogers. A very late tackle. But it looks like the right back, right Frank McCrory, I think. <laughs> it's actually number four, Fake Rohanlon. I think he knew what he was doing there, taking that free. Professional foul, I think they call it the game these days. <laughs> Sean Billy with the in swinging ball, sent it to the back post. Lee Wright gets a touch on it, and keeper lets it go out for a goal kick. Nice free kick. Thirty-seven minutes gone here in Clancy Park. One nil to Rampart Celtic. One goal from Niall Ferguson. Rampart's forced to make an early substitution when when right back Aaron Farner comes off, who was replaced by Paul Gray. 
Well won by Stephen Shark in the centre midfield. Brian Soren lets it run out for a rock solid throw. Stephen Sharkey sends it back out. Brian Soren will take it again. Number 12, Aaron McCullen trying to get it away. Oren O'Hanlon picks it up there on deep on the left hand side. Turns Paul McGray at once, turns him twice. Keeps possession of the ball into the penalty box. Ooh, the referee was asked to make a decision there. He didn't see anything wrong. Number two, Frank McCrory. Referee playing advantage after a heavy tackle by Brendan McGuinness. Great ball to find Oren O'Hanlon, free on the back post. Tied up by Niall Ferguson. Fantastic to see a good crowd here as well in Clancy Park. Great, people, great crowd of people down to watch the local cup final. Captain Oren O'Hanlon possession again. Dispossessed by Niall Ferguson out for a rock Celtic throw. Left back Brian Soren. Looking for, looking for a free man. Doesn't find one. Number 12, Aaron McQuillan. Done well to win that one. Referee stops the game. Looks like a head injury. There's somebody got a kick to the head by the looks of things. Refs early stopped the game quick and they're signaling for medical attention. Hopefully he's alright. Medical staff don't look overly concerned. Looks like number six, Brendan McGuinness, is down at the minute. Down holding his head, so the ref stopped play immediately. About five minutes left here in this half. Rampart Celtic one, Rock Celtic nil. Ref looking for a hot ball here. Great evening for football. Nice and dry. Great crowd here as well. Keeper Rudwan sends it long back, giving possession back to Rock Celtic. Fair play. Owen Flanagan plays it short to the right back. Frank McCrory looks inside. Brian McGuinness back on the pitch, good to see. Josh Larkin clears his lines. Rocks out to play it long again. Rory Kirk battling for the ball against Gavin O'Hanlon. Plays a short one to Oren O'Hanlon. Josh Larkin trying hard to avoid a corner there. Rampart can see another corner. It's supposed to be number five or six at this stage. Last couple of corners have been threatening, just nobody got in the end of them. It's this time, Keeper Ridvan gets up strong, good hands, takes possession of the ball, and holds, sending it wide to Niall Ferguson. Niall Ferguson's plenty of space in front of him, he'll lead, walk into that space. Tidy of ball with Stephen Shark in the, in the middle of the pail, sends it over to Ian Rodgers at left back. Lee Wright drops the effort, sending it out to his right winger. Oh McGuinness. With an untidy ball back. Oren Hanlon trying to find Rory Cork there, intercepted by Gavin Lennon. Aaron McCullen going free at the back here with 12, one on one against Paul Gray. Paul Gray lets him go, Ridwan, keeper Ridwan. 
slightly as his back, does very well to get a touch back inside and jump on the ball. <coughs> Ridwan going to send it long off to Lee Wright. Lee Wright looking for a touch on to Sean Bailey, comes back off the centre defender. Maybe a bit of a touch, push in the back, but keeper does, referee doesn't give it. Frank Soren. Heavy tackle with Josh Larkin on the centre forward there. That was number 10, Rory Kirk, I think. Rampart has currently protesting that decision, unhappy with the linesman's call. So Captain Warren Hannon stands over it. Probably just outside shooting range. Rock Celtic look to overload the back post again here. Two men in the wall, Warren Hannon has the shot. Keeper Ridwan very well positioned. Takes possession of the ball very easily. Ridvan releases early to Eamon Rogers. Eamon Rogers switches wings all the way across to Niall Ferguson. There's plenty of time in the ball. The defender was lucky, slipped, but got back up in time to intercept Adam Hoban. Number 16, Paul Gray. Replacement right back, coming forward a little. Brendan McGuinness filling in from at the right back. Rock Celtic do well, well to win it back in the back line. Number five, Adam Hoban trying to send it long. Looking for Orn O'Hanlon again, but intercepted by Paul Gray. Now number eight, Adam Gartland. Sends a teasing ball up there for Rory Kirk. But again, keeper Riddy comes early, claims it, and then releases it quickly to Eamon Rogers. We're approaching half time here. There'll be a couple of minutes added on for a couple of injuries we had. Loose touch from Lee Wright to Owen McGuinness. He's dispossessed by number eight, Adam Gartland. Number 10, Rory Kirk does well to win the ball. Josh Hanna loses out to Brendan McGuinness. Niall Ferguson, one on one with Brian Soren. He'll have a go, and he's gone. Sends the ball out wide to Sean Bailey, who's number one on one against number five, Adam Hoban. Sends it to the back post. Centre defender does very well, gets back up. Trying to face off to Owen McGuinness, who's blocked down by Adam Gartland. Going down for a Rampart Celtic throw. First of the game. Sean Bailey heads out to take this corner, taking his time. As I say, we're right on the stroke of half time here. Be a great time for a goal. Josh Larkin and Aaron Rodgers heading for the back post. And the ball goes for the back post. Aaron Rodgers sends it back across. Keeper gets up. Oh, cleared off the line. I think the last touch was Lee Wright on that one. Keeper's down injured. Keeper's down injured. Rock Celtic elect to play on. Keeper Ridwan comes far for the ball. Takes a touch pass. Number 10, Rory Kirk. Plays it up to his right, left wing, Owen McGuinness. Stephen Sharkey, number eight, losing possession to number six, Josh Hanna. Rock Celtic own keeper own flanagan unhappy with one of the decisions. Letting the ref know about it. Number five, Adam Hoban tries to send it long, and that's half time. Cleared away by Brian Sorhan. Long ball. Half time here from Clancy Park, 1 0 to Rampart Celtic. The only goal of the game coming from a header by Niall Ferguson at the back post after a rasping ball from Aaron Rodgers right across. All in all, a very entertaining game. I think Rock Celtic had the better the first 10 minutes, but then Rampart settled well into the game and started making some good interchanges across the middle, passing the ball up the front. Excellent showpiece for the first half so far. Keep moving, lads. Keep fucking moving. We'll come back to you now in a few minutes with the second half. Coming to you live, Clancy Park. We're waiting for the second half to kick off. Both teams back on the pitch. 
Just waiting on the referees. Give you the starting 11s again, just while we're waiting. Number one, Rampart Celtic number one, Ridwan Vodrun. Replacement, right back, number 16, Paul Gray. Number three, Eamon Rogers. Number four, Josh Larkin. Five, Gavin Lennon. Six, Brandon McGuinness. Seven, Owen McGuinness. Eight, Stephen Sharkey. Nine, Sean Bailey. Ten, Lee Wright. And goal scorer, only goal scorer the game so far, number 11, Niall Ferguson. For Rock Celtic, we have number one, Owen Flanagan. Number two, Frank McCrory. Three, Brian Sorin. Four, Frank Brannan. Five, Adam Hoban. Six, Josh Hanna. 7 Conor Brady 8 Adam Gartland 10 Rory Kirk 11 Orna Hannan and number 12 Aaron McCullen it's your start 11 Rock Celtic managers Kieran Keenan Dave McGo Rampart Celtic manager Kieran Pickering 1 0 here only goal again from Niall Ferguson been an interesting game we said earlier Rock Celtic got the better the first 10 minutes Put some pressure across on top of Rampart Celtic with the long ball. Rampart's have dealt with it since then. Managed some good interchanges across the middle, particularly with Niall Ferguson finding lots of space out in his wing. It'll be interesting to see if Rock Celtic make any changes to deal with that for the second half. Both teams here right in the pitch, just getting warmed up, getting ready to go. Didn't take very long for. Their, their half time team talks, which is why we're waiting on the refs. Refs are coming out, you can see them coming from their change room. <laughs> I see a great crowd here as well on a Saturday evening. Weather's nice and dry, no rain so far. Bit of a chill in the air. You can see the woolly hats back out. It's great to see a crowd here as well because it certainly is a showpiece for local football. Both teams have battened hard to get into this final. Obviously, Rampart Celtic overcoming Border Legion, a very strong team. And Rock Celtic dispatching with BAFC 4 0 in their semi final. So both teams have earned their places in this final, that's for sure. Kieran, manager Kieran Pickering will certainly be the happier of the two managers as we head into the second half. The referee comes back out with the ball. Tucked under his arm. Gives it to number 10, Rory Kirk, who's had a good half, ready for a kick-off, second half, from Clancy Park, Clancy Cup Final, 2021, the Dogan District League, half-time, score is 1-0 to Rampart Celtic, referee checking with linesmen, checking with keepers, ready to kick off, and we're off, 11 minutes past 8, long ball, Orna Hannon, dealt with by Paul Gray, Good tackle from both team players there. Nobody pulled out. <laughs> Number 11, Owen Hanlon, in possession of the ball, playing it on. Gets it back. Brian Soren sends a long ball to the back post. Oh, we're going to seize the ball out. No, it keeps ball, it in. Yes, well done. Linesman gives the Rampart Celtic as a throw it. Eamon Rogers will take his time. Oh McGuinness on this side, number seven. Stephen Sharkey comes first. Ian Rogers will send it long up the wing. Number seven, Connor Brady wins that, plays it inside for his number six, Josh Hanna. Keeps possession of the ball. Has a shot from long. Keeper with one looked. Alarmed, but seems to let it go wide. Some far out. Referee bringing a halt to the game here to have a chat with someone. I think he's unhappy with the fans, how close they are to the pitch, maybe. And the game's back on. Keeper Redwan sends it long. Lee Wright rises early but doesn't get the ball, so it runs to Sean Bailey. It plays down to Owen McGuinness. Plays into the space. And wins a throw off for number two, Frank McCrory. Left back, Ian Rogers comes long with the ball. Strange throw. Stephen Sharkey unlucky to keep confession the ball. Owen Hannon drops very far if we get that ball. 
Alvin Lennon deals with the ball under pressure, puts there for a touch under pressure from number 10, Rory Kirk. Lock Celtic throw in. Adam, Adam. Number 5 from Rampart Celtic. Close down injured. Number 5 being Gavin Lennon. I think may have probably overstretched for that ball. While under pressure. You can see the Rampart staff here frantically getting ready in case we need to make a change. But it looks like he'll walk it off, it's it. Adam Bolton. We'll play some sub warming up, but I think we're okay. Medical staff come off, don't look too alarmed. Gavlin shakes his head, says he'll play on. Number four, long ball. Keeper Ridwan takes the ball. Shouts. Oh, he's giving it away to Orahan in a very dangerous area. Oh, no, it's a goal. The Rock Celtic team are elated with that. It's an unlucky ball from keeper Ridwan. Sends it out to Ornohan and Ornohan picks it up. Picks his spot, hits it hard and scores. Rampart Celtic players visibly upset with this, but you know, mistakes happen. They need to pick themselves up and go again. Score here from Clancy Park for the 2021 Clancy Cup final. The Dock and District League is one all. That game comes about three minutes into the second half. Rampart Celtic goal came early from Niall Ferguson. Rock Celtic goal again early in the second half from Orno Hannon after an untidy layout from Kiefer Ridwan. Leroy putting pressure on the back line. Looking for a free kick, doesn't get it. Was out for a goal kick. Keeper does actually give a corner kick. Super so bad and bold and getting warmed up here. Itching to get on the pitch. Long high ball. And referee gives a free kick against Lee Wright for pressure on the keeper. Keeper actually sends it quick for that one. Which is unusual. Intercepted by Stephen Sharkey in the middle of the pitch. He keeps a hold of possession. Niall Ferguson dropping back to hold it. Paul Gray, number right back, sends it long over the top with a long ball for Lee Wright to run onto, who beats the keeper, but is cleared off the line by number four, Fikro Hannon, I think it was. It's a great clearance off the line. It's a long ball by Paul Gray over the top. Lee Wright latched on to the end of it, just touched, touched the pass to the keeper, but Fikro Hannon was alive to that and just got it off the line. Out for Ramparts at the corner, Sean Bailey, looking to whip it in, looking for the back post. Ooh, actually comes off the upright. Don't know if he meant that one. You'd say he did. Ramparts at the putting the pressure back on here. Keep Ron Fragan taking his time with this kick out. Six minutes gone in the second half here. Score one all in the Clancy Cup final. Keeper with a long kick. We send up looking for Owen Hannon. Gavin Lennon deals with that one, puts it out for Rock Celtic throw. Number 12, Aaron McQuillan, released it early to number 11, Owen Hannon. Referee eventually calls a halt to the game, gives a free kick to Rampart Celtic against number six Josh Hanna for an untidy tackle. Game certainly starting to heat up. Josh Larkin standing over the ball deep inside his own half. 
I'm trying to send it long to O'McGuinness over here on the left wing. But Miss kicks it. Tidied up by Brendan McGuinness who sends it over the top for Sean Bailey to chase down against number five, Adam Hoban. Wins the, free, the throw in for Ramparts Attic. Right back, Paul Gray comes all the way up to take this throw in. He'll try and send it long. Looking for Niall Ferguson. Who's been set up by Brian Soren. Out for a goal kick. Keeper Owen Flanagan taking his time over this one again. He'll send it long looking for Orno Hanlon. Doesn't get it far enough. Intercepted by Niall Ferguson. Touched it on to Sean Bailey. He'll hold the ball up and let send it for the overlap. Sends it too long. Goes out for another goal, cut, goal kick. Back for another goal kick with Keeper Owen Flanagan. Eight minutes gone in the second half. One all. Clancy Cup final from Clancy, Clancy Park. Scores Orn Han for Rock Celtic and Niall Ferguson for Rampart Celtic. Stephen Sharkey up high, wins the ball. Touch it down to number 12, Aaron McQuillan, who's looking for number 10, Rory Kirk, who gets past Gavin Lennon and Josh Larkin. Sends it back across, cleared out by Ridwan. Number 6, Josh Hannig, stretching too far for the ball. Gives away a free kick on the edge of the box for Rampart Celtic clearance. Ball did go in the net, but obviously disallowed by the referee. Rampart Celtic just coming under a little bit of pressure here. Long kick by Ridwan, looking for Sean Bailey, just goes a little too far. Sean Bailey didn't get up for that one. Orn Han in possession, the ball gets by Brendan McGuinness with ease. Plays the arm of plays the ball across the middle. Gavin O'Han collects it. Number 11, Orn O'Han with a bit of a lunge in that time. What about the fucking lunge? Game's just getting a bit scrappy here. There's a few tackles going in left and right. So you see manager Kieran Pickering contemplating some changes here. 10 minutes gone, so 55 gone in total. High ball, lofted to the back post, dealt with by Stephen Sharkey. Brian Soren was first to the ball, tries to send it back across to number 7. Connor Brady, but it runs out for a Rampart Celtic. Oh no, it's still in. Goes out for a Rock Celtic corner. Number two for Rock Celtic, taking his time to set up the corner. It's up number two, Frank McCrory. Out in the far right hand corner of your screen. Looking to send it to the back post. So you can see number Brian Soren and uh, Adam Garland lining up at the back post. So it looks like he'd be sending it to the back post. <laughs> send it short to the front post. Actually, comes off the front post. Fizzles free. Oh, and it's our goal for Rock Celtic. With number four, Faker O'Hanlon sending. I think it might have been rebounded into the net, but Rock Celtic will take that all day long. Rock Celtic will give that to number four, Faker O'Hanlon. I think it might have took, took a touch on the way in, but certainly Faker O'Hanlon will claim that one. 
score here from Clancy Park in the Clancy Cup final. The Dock District League is Rock Celtic 2, Brown Park Celtic 1. Manager Kieran Pickin here getting ready to make a change. We've got number 15, Sean McQuillan coming on for number 6, Brendan McGuinness. Corner kick to Rampart Celtic. Rampart sending a lot of men up for this one. Certainly feeling the pressure now. Cleared off by Rampart Celtic, picked up by Eamon Rogers, the, left, the right back, tries to send it back in. Cleared out, number nine, Sean Bailey takes possession of the ball, has a shot from Long, doesn't quite work out. Rampart Celtic. Trying to organise here. Oh, McGuinness dropping a little bit deeper. Substitute Sean McQuillan. Having a word with his central, central defenders, central midfielders. Trying to organise. Long kick from Owen Flanagan. Up Gavin Lennon battling for the ball with Rory Kirk. Eamon Rogers taking possession. Playing inside to Sean McQuillan. Sean McQuillan, number 15, plays a good idea of a ball out of the wing. But unfortunately, the execution wasn't precise enough. Stephen Sharkey keeping control of the ball, sends it off to the left back Eamon Rogers, looking for his left wing Eamon O'McGuinness, picked up by number 7 Connor Brady, number 8 Garland, number 10, 10 Rory Kirk chasing a loose ball, Rudewan picks it up and releases early to number 16 Paul Gray, comes under pressure from number 12 Aaron McQuillan. Out for Rocks out the throw, Ornahan and now possession the ball. Rock Celtic would certainly feel to have the, the luck behind them now. They're pressing a bit more. They're shouting for every ball. Their fans are shouting for every ball as well. Number three, Brian Soren heads for the corner flag. Trying to win a corner off Paul Gray, who sends it to Niall Ferguson. Josh Hanna possession of the ball, sends it across for his number two, has a shot from distance, goes long and wide. Number two for Rock Celtic here, with a possession just inside the Rampart Celtic half. He leaves it for his number four, Fikro Hannon, sends it long to the back post. Picked up by Niall Ferguson. Intercepted by number eight, Garland. Oh my goodness, gets in his way. Excellent save by Red One off. Number 12, Aaron McCullough with a cheeky ball over the top to the left hand side. Another Rock Celtic throw. Number 11, 
Orna Handel will take this one. The goal scorer. Sends it to the front post. Keeper will run, calls it early, comes early, punches it out, and gets a goal kick. Kieran Picker will make some changes. Looks like we're sending home McGuinness over to right back. Paul McGray is coming over to left back, we're trying to release Eamon Rogers to use his pace to get up and down this wing, I think. I think that's the idea behind it. Ridwan sends it long. Stephen Sharkey rises, gets his deflection off the ball, picked up by number five, Adam Hoban. Send it long again over the top for Rory Kirk, who gets onto the ball, beats the offside trap. Oh, but he doesn't beat the keeper. Another great save by Ridwan. Rampart Celtic certainly under some serious pressure here. Referee actually points for a goal kick, much to the striker's dismay. Ridvan sends a long kick out, looking for Niall Ferguson, but it runs out for a rock Celtic throw. Left back Brian Soren will take this one. Sends it to his number 11, Orna Hanlon, then sends it long, looking for a long ball for Rory Kirk again. Right back Owen McGuinness throws it up for Niall Ferguson, who loses possession to Josh Hanna. Number 12, Aaron McQuillan gets by Owen McGuinness, turns back inside, still in possession, sends it to the back post. Almost finds number seven for Rock Celtic completely by himself, but just couldn't make contact at number seven, Connor Brady. <laughs> Keeper Ridvan sends it long again. Number 10, Lee Wright is up. Tries to send it on to Sean Bailey, who's surrounded by three men, getting no time on the ball. Niall Ferguson finds time on the ball. Has a shot but sends it over the bar. I don't think he made proper contact with that one. Gav Lennon clears it, sends it long. Keep rolling flag and thought about coming and lets it drop. He'll take his time over this one. Keep rolling flag and thought about releasing it early. Takes a couple of steps, decides to send it long. Sends it very long. Gavin Lennon under pressure tries to head it back to his keeper with one. Didn't quite work out as it runs for a corner. Corner kick for Rock Celtic. Sent to the back post. Orin O'Hanlon waiting for it. Out for a goal kick. It's actually Rory Kirk, not Orin O'Hanlon. Ridwan. Can send this one long again if you're looking for Lee Wright, I'd say. Finds Lee Wright, who tips it on to Lee to Niall Ferguson. Dispossessed by Rock Celtic. Sent early. Gavin Lennon battling with number 10, Rory Kirk. Rory Kirk comes out the batter, finds Aaron McQuillan. Aaron McQuillan holds possession of the ball. Gives it to Oren Hand and tries to flick it over the top. Handball by Josh Larkin, giving a free kick to Rock Celtic in a very dangerous position. Rampart Celtic not happy with that decision. Eamon Rogers will stand over this one until we build a wall. Ridvan calling for four in the wall. 
<laughs> Four man wall here from Rampart Celtic. Two Rock Celtic men standing over it, one standing over it. Ref says hit it and not quite what he was hoping for. Keeper would want to send it long. He look for Sean McQuillan. Find Stephen Sharkey with push in the back. Ramparts had to get possession of the ball and a free kick in a, in a nice area. Sean McQuillan stands over at number 15. A substitute. Sean Bailey comes deep to take this one. He'll be looking to send up to the back post. We've Josh Larkin, Owen McGuinness, Lee Niall Ferguson. Stephen Sharkey, Sean McQuillan all lining up in that back post area. High ball, holding high in the air. Brian Soren rises first, Sean McQuillan gets the head on it. That by number two, Frank McCory out to Sean Bailey. He gets by number two, sends it into centre. Orna Hanlon now finds a bit of space for himself. Well dealt with by Gavin Lennon. Who's out for a touch. Good play by Gavin Lennon, tidying up, making sure that it goes out for touch. Looks like Rock Celtic are going to make a substitution. Substitute's not ready. Seems like a time wasting tactic here. Referee has play on. Substitute wasn't ready. I think Rock Sally was trying to waste a bit of time there, which they did. Number two, Frank McCurry. Plays it to Orna Hannon. Plays it off Stephen Sharkey yeah, for a free kick. Rock Sally in no hurry to take this throw. Hurried along by Rampart staff. Finally, the substitution gets called again. It looks like number 14 will be coming on. Number 14 is Drew Kieran's going off for number six. Coming on for number six, Josh Hanna. Came back on, well won by Stephen Sharkey. No pressure on number five, Adam Hovind at the back there. Plays it across to Brian Soren, he plays a long ball up front, a nice touch by Rory Kirk, plays it on for the substitute. Dinked ball across the middle, intercepted by Sean McQuillan. Eamon Rogers, the right winger, plays it forward for Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey takes possession, sends a long ball over to the right wing. Very well controlled by Niall Ferguson, who's number one on one against Brian Sorahan. Comes, cuts inside, plays it night ball for Raymond Rogers. Yeah! Great goal. Followed in by number 11, Niall Ferguson again. Two all here in the Clancy Cup final. Rampart Celtic with the goal. Great follow on by Niall Ferguson. He hit the first shot. Untidily dealt with, un tidily dealt with by the keeper, who's still down, feeling the effects of that one. It dropped. And Niall Ferguson pounced and put it in the back of the net. Two all here. Clancy Cup final. Clancy Park.
27 minutes gone. Keeper still down here. Rock Celtic staff were unhappy with that decision to allow the goal to stand. They felt it was a free kick against his keeper. But the referee decided otherwise, so it stands 2 all. Twenty-seven minutes gone here. So the ramparts out the players just getting some water on board. Not sure if keeper can continue on here. He's certainly not happy with the referee. Some rock Celtic players coming back in concern for the keeper. He stands up, I think he'll be okay. So, half an hour played here. Almost half an hour played here in the Clancy Cup final 2021 from Clancy Park in the Dundalkin District League. Score is 2 all. Scores for Rampart Celtic was two goals from Niall Ferguson, one in the first half, one in the second half. Scores for Rock Celtic were Fake Rohanan and Oro Hannan, both early in the second half. Long kick from Keeper Red One, sending it out long to right wing for Stephen Sharkey. He sends a ball for a very late tackle from goal scorer Niall Ferguson. He looks like the ref's going to have a word with him. Oh, he's given a yellow card, actually. Two goals and a yellow card. Free kick here, Rock Celtic deep in their own half. <laughs> Long kick intercepted by Lee Wright, sends it back to keep Rowan Flanagan. The Flanagan thought about letting it go early, but then decided to hold on to it. It's going to send it long to the right wing. Paul Gray was up early, sends it out for a touch. To bet the number seven, Connor Brady to that ball. Connor Brady now on the ball, looking to throw. Free out, called by the linesman. Keeper Ridwan standing over this one. We'll have, to, we'll have to send it long, I think. Sends it for touch. Unlucky with that one. Number two, Frank McCrory plays inside the fake Rohanlin. Keeps touching the ball. Eamon Rogers, Steve McCullen, Sean McCullen picks it up. Paul Gray gets dispossessed. By number 14, Drew Kieran's. Gavin Lennon slides in to put it out to touch. Rock Celtic throw. Frank McCrory coming with, looking for the ball. Rock Celtic in a bit more of a hurry now. Oran oh, a couple of touches. Was unlucky with that one. We found Conor Brady, who sends it far to the back post. Find Aaron McQuillan. Aaron McQuillan looking for Aaron Hannan. Oh, no, Hannan. Josh Larkin down. Rock Celtic, Rampart Celtic of a man down, but opted to continue playing. Stephen Sharkey sends it over the top for Sean Bailey to chase against number two, Frank McCrory. Sean Bailey comes out on top, keeps hold of the ball, and turns him again. 
set, tries to set the shot off. And before Josh Larkin down injured at the moment, looks like he'll be a bit of cramp in his knee. Looks like an ankle injury. Keeper and medical staff, Deck Murphy, currently dealing with it. Super sub Adam Bolton getting warm just in case he's called upon. Sub's getting told to warm up because it's a bit getting cold this season. Thirty-three minutes gone in the second half. In the Clancy Cup final, 2021, in Dock and District League, the score is Rock Celtic two, Rampart Celtic two. The scores for Rock Celtic were Fierker O'Hannon and number four Fierker O'Hannon, number eleven Oren O'Hannon. Scores for Rampart Celtic, both goals from Niall Ferguson, number eleven. Niall picking up a yellow card for his throws as well. It's the only yellow card in the game so far. Josh Larkin back on his feet, looks like he'd be okay. Oh McGuinness kicks into play. The touch, Rock Celtic throw. Rock Celtic play to number 11, Orlo Hannon. He stands strong, comes away with the ball. Keeps possession of the ball in a dangerous area. Plays it to his number 12, Aaron McQuillan. He sends it out off Oh McGuinness for a throw, for a corner kick. Rock Celtic have a Quite a few free corner kicks. Must be their tenth at this stage. Number two, Frank McCorry comes all the way up to take this corner kick. Sean McCullough didn't organise in the Rampart Celtic defence. Deep ball into the centre. Ooh. Drew Kieran's rose early, as did Sean McCullen. Sean McCullen cleared it out over the bar. Referee gives a goal kick. Rampart Celtic will take that. Keep a red one waiting for the ball. Long ball from Wood One, dealt with by number seven, Connor Brady. Sent it up early from Rory Kirk, who gets possession of the ball against number five, Gavin Lennon. Has a shot, ooh, and zips it over the bar. Orno Hannon visibly displeased with that. He wanted the ball, he was free in centre and wanted the ball played into. Van sends it long, looking for Lee Wright again. Lee Wright gets on the ball, sends it in centre. That would fight number two, Frank McCorry. Brian Soren sends it long into the Rampart side half. It's been chased down by substitute 14, Drew Kieran's, who almost keeps him playing, but it runs out for a goal kick. Thirty-six minutes gone here. Score two all in the Clancy Cup final in the Dawkins District League. Rock Celtic, Rock Celtic two, Rampart Celtic two. Long clearance by Josh Larkin. Dealt with by Fierker O'Hanlon, picked up by Sean McCullough in centre of park under pressure from Drew Kieran's. Drew Kieran's wins a free. Sean McCullough's 
Doesn't agree with that one. <laughs> tells, her, tells the ref so. Sean Belly wins possession in a great area. Releases Eamon Rogers, who has a bit of space. Number eight, Adam Gartland. With the lunging tackle, put the ball out. Paul Gray comes forward and releases it early to Gavin Lennon, number five. Paul goes out of play. Rock Celtic. Throw in. Number two, Frank McGrory. McGrory, sorry. Warren Hannon in possession again. He's had a super game. Ian Rogers picks it up, plays it back to his keeper. Keeper sends it long, high and long. Sean Bailey challenging for the ball against him. Frank McGrory gives away a free. Coming back from an offside position. Number four, Figaro Hanlon standing over. Number four, Figaro Hanlon sends it high and long. Looking for Rory Kirk, dealt with by Stephen Sharkey. Long ball over the top for Niall Ferguson to chase onto. Runs out for a throw, picked up by number five, Adam Hoban. Sean McCullum wins that one. Picked up in the centre by Stephen Sharkey. Plays it across Paul Gray, slightly behind him, has to correct his footing for that one. Plays it back across the right back, Owen McGuinness. Plays into Sean McCullum, who loses out to Brian Sorin. Josh Larkin tidying up. Gavin Lennon tries to play it long, looking for Eamon Rogers on the left wing over here. Stephen Sharkey does well to win it back. Number two concedes a free kick by obstructing number eight Stephen Sharkey there on the way through. Certainly knew what he was doing. Sean Bailey standing over on the, on the referee's whistle. I wouldn't think it's in shooting distance, but we'll see. See Sean McCullen screaming for the ball at the back post. If Sean has seen it. Has um, a shot. Just didn't threaten the keeper. Keeper Owen Flanagan will send it long. It drops, slash, drops short this time, but Rock Celtic managed to get it on. Number 12, Aaron McQuillan, sends it on, looking for number 10, Rory Kirk. Well Dealt with by Josh Larkin, was out for Rock Celtic throw. So our understanding is it goes straight to penalties this game. Another corner in the back post. Keeper Ruban came and claimed. Sends it long quickly to Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey takes control of the ball, plucks it out of this guy, goes past one man. He's got support from Niall Ferguson, he's got support from Raymond Rogers. Aaron Rogers gets the ball here up high and left. Rock to get time to get the man back. Lee Wright dispossessed just as he's about to pull the trigger. Cleared out by Faircrow Hannon. Paul Gray lets the ball run to Calvin Lennon. Gets the ball back again. So protests from the Rock Celtic team there. I believe the ball was out outside the box. Niall Ferguson didn't challenge that one. Coming back from an offside position. Played up to Orna Pannon who 
receives a yellow card for a late tackle. By my watch, probably three or four minutes left here. Second half, or there will be 10 minutes of extra time if it goes to extra time, which is looking likely at this stage, about three minutes left of this game. Gavin Leonard sends it long with an excellent ball to Eamon Rogers. Very deep on the left hand side, it pulls back, goes past two, certainly a free. Oh, the keeper sends the referee sends it for a goal kick. Keeper Owen Flanagan will send it long again. They haven't elected to use a short ball as we've seen lately from other teams. Good kick. Number 14, Drew Kieran's puts pressure on, but illegally so, according to the referee. Great opportunity here for Rampart setting the dying minutes of the game. Gavin Lennon steps forward. He'll be looking to drop a ball right in on top of the keeper, I'd say. Rampart Celtic sending all the big men up. Gavin Lennon floats one in. One by Niall Ferguson. Oh, keeper claims it strongly. Well done, keeper. Owen oh, Flanagan sits a long kick, very long. Dealt with by Owen McGuinness. He finds Lee Wright, who's dropped into a right wing position. Sends it up to Sean McQuill in the middle. Intercepted by Rock Celtics number eight. Adam Garland. Shot from the Aaron McQuillan in the left wing. Easily dealt with by Ridwan. Ridwan sends it long, looking for Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey takes possession of it. Turns his man. Plays a great ball across. Eamon Rogers doesn't get there in time. He runs out for a throw in to Rock Celtic. Into injury time here in the Clancy Cup final. Scores Ramp Rock Celtic 2, Rampart Celtic 2. Looks like we're heading for extra time, which I'm told is 10 minutes each way. Sean McQuillan leads to Paul Gray. For Niall Ferguson has a shot. Snapped at it, sends it high and wide. Keep her own flag and picking this one up. Last minute substitution from manager Kieran Pickering here. Sending on number 14, Luke McCardle. Looks like he'll come into place, replace number 11, number 10, Lee Rice. Coming to the last game of the game, long kick by Owen Flanagan. Well won by Stephen Shark in the midfield, Paul Gray picks up the ball, tries to send it long to Niall Ferguson but sends it out to touch. Frank McCorry sends it long, looking for Drew Kieran who keeps him in possession. Pushed off the ball, certainly a free. The referee doesn't see it. Aaron McQuillan loses possession to Owen McGuinness. Owen McGuinness sends a beautiful ball over the top. Referee calls a handball against Niall Ferguson. Niall Ferguson has to remember he's, he's already on a yellow card. He has to be careful here. Long ball by Fierke Rohan and sends it. Long dealt by Gavin Lennon in the middle. 
picked up again by number eight, Adam Gartland. Fair panel has a shot from distance. Keep a red one on the ball. He'll send this one long. Niall Ferguson's gone upside Sean Bailey here. Change in formation. And that's full time here in the Clancy Cup final 2021 in Clancy Park. It's 2 all. Rampart Celtic 2, Rock Celtic 2. That means we're heading for extra time. 10 minutes and a half. Scores in the game so far. Rock Celtic. We had number 4, Fierro Hannon. Number 11, Oran Hannon. For Rampart Celtic scores was Luke or was Niall Ferguson with two goals. We've got three substitutions so far for Rampart Celtic. Just the one substitution so far for Rock Celtic. Looks like we're gonna have another couple of substitutions here at Rock Celtic or Rampart Celtic as well. Rampart Celtic are gonna need all their energy for this, this extra time. Manager Kieran Pickering called his team over for a, a pep talk. <laughs> Ten minutes of extra time. Both teams will feel this one. They've given everything they have for the final so far for the first 90 minutes. <laughs> Both teams deep in their opposing huddles. Been spoken to by the manager, manager Kieran Pickering, and manager Kieran Keenan. Be a hard ten minutes for both teams. Referee calling for captain so we can have it the coin toss to the side of the ends for the start of the extra time. Been a wonderful second half, that's for sure. Plenty of excitement, three goals, some yellow cards, enough to keep the fans here interested. Plenty of fans up here at the game as well. And what's turned into a very cold night in Clancy Park. Manager Kieran Pickering giving a rousing team talk to his team, trying to pick them up, let them know what's required of them for the next 10 minutes per half. Uh. Here we go. We're heading to the first half of extra time here. Referee is trying to clear the pitch. Looks like Adam Bolton will uh, make an entrance. Looks like he's coming on for Josh Larkin, who had a great game at the back. Josh Larkin hobbling off. I think an injury got the better of him. We set up here. Looks like we'll start with Rock Celtic. Shooting from left to right in your picture, and Rampart Celtic shooting from right to left in your picture. Slight delay to the substitution. Linesman's coming in to check the boots. It's number 12, Adam Bolton, coming onto, your, onto the pitch. Adam, the strong centre back, coming back from a very serious injury, which he, he broke his elbow. It's great to see him back on the pitch. 
and we're all set here for the first half of extra time, the Clancy Cup final. Clancy Cup final 2021 from Clancy Park, the Dock District League score 2 all, Rampart Celtic 2, Rock Celtic 2. Yellow card for number 14, Drew Kearns. Very early in this extra time. For a very late challenge in the back is number 15, Sean McQuillan. Sean McCullen holding his back, but I think he'll shake that one off. One minute gone here in this first half of extra time. Sean Billy sends the ball along to the back post. Dealt by Rock's Athletic defence. 14 Drew Kearns is all over the pitch here at the minute. I think maybe he's been given a free roll. Throw away on McGuinness. To number 14, Luke McCardle. Hassel's number 3, Brian Soren. Sends it out for a throw. Sean Bailey on the ball. Gets this taken down. Sean Bailey standing over this free kick. Niall Ferguson comes over and takes over. Looks like he's sending it an out swinger. Or head it with his left. Dangerous ball. That's by number five, Adam Hoven. Out for a rampart at the corner. Two minutes gone here in our extra time. First half extra time. <laughs> corner being taken by Sean Bailey, sent in. Not dealt with by anybody. Keeper came, didn't, didn't win. Drew Kearns takes the ball out. Throw in to Rock Celtic. Number 12, Aaron McQuillan, plays it on for number 14, Drew Kearns, who skips by number 12, Adam Bolton. Not so lucky with a ball against Gavin Lennon. Home going to possession. Drew Kieran wins it back. Tried to send it high. Tell it by Sean McCullen. Aaron Rodgers in possession of the ball. Aaron Rodgers gains plenty of yards now. They are taking it into the Rock Celtic half. Sean Bailey standing over through. Leaves it for left back Paul Gray. Ball call for the early ball, but we weren't ready for it. Aaron Rodgers wins this touch on that one, sends it back to Sean Bailey. Sean Bailey tries a high, long one. Didn't quite work out. Owen Flanagan takes that one, and he'll send it long and high. Sending it up for Owen Hannon. One by Gavin Lennon. Un unopposed. Captain Owen McGuinness takes it out. To the wing, puts it out for a throw. No. 
Long ball, own hand left free, free header, straight at keeper really. Had to win anywhere else, might have been dangerous. Really sent it long, dealt up by Fear Crohanan, back into the middle, picked up by Stephen Sharkey, number eight around Ramp Celtic. Gains a couple of yards, and releases Niall Ferguson over here deep on the left wing, on his left foot, chips it to the back post, oh, and cleared off the line. Fantastic goal by Luke McCardle on the volley. Keeper saved it, sends it out. Luke McCarley absolutely shipped at home. What an absolute peach of a goal. What an excellent break off this left hand side. Niall Ferguson had control of the ball, sent it to the back post, wasn't that way very well. Keeper got sent it out, and Luke McCarley, McCarley sent it home. Score now in the Clancy Cup Final 2021. The Dawkins District League is Rampart Celtic 3, Rock Celtic 2. Scores Niall Ferguson with 2, Luke McCardle with 1. Halfway through the first half here of injury time. Fair Crohanan and Orna Hanna with the Rock, Cel Rock Celtic goals. Rock Celtic under a bit of pressure here at the back line. Managed to get it out. Number seven, Connor Brady wins a free kick. Oren Hanlon sends it long, but it's dealt with by Gavin Lennon, picked up by Drew Kearns. Aaron Rodgers tried to clear it. Number eight, Adam Gartland deals with it in the middle, sends it back up to Drew Kearns. Rory Kirk fighting for that, every ball that comes through. Aaron McCullen in possession at the moment sends it into Drew Kieran's, but it's that way by the Rampart South back line. Sean Billy picks up possession in the middle of the park. Rides one tackle. Gives Eamon Rogers the ball on the overlap. He sends it deep to the back post. That way by Brian Zorhan, sends it out for a touch. Rampart Celtic would have been a bit of power behind him here. <laughs> Number four, Faker Hanlon sends it for touch. No mess with that one. Steve McCullen very unlucky with that one. He had a shot from the edge of the left hand side of the box, it just creaked over the crossbar. Keeper Owen Flanagan sends it long, Oren Hanlon dropping back, but won by Niall Ferguson. Stephen Sharkey takes possession of the ball, sends it up for Sean Bailey, in the heading for the corner flag. Takes a touch, beats Frank McCrory, holding it up, holding it up again. Managed to get the ball out. So coming to the last minute of this extra time, first half of extra time here. Oren Hanlon sends it early, 
for for Rory Kirk. He fought, tried to find Aaron McCullum, was beaten to the ball by the stalwart Owen McGuinness at the back, right back at the minute. Luke McArdle sends it long, but Owen Flanagan picks it up. Alexa throw it early uh, to number five, Adam Hoban. Must be deep in the injury time here, or the extra time, first half extra time. Frank McCorry here on the ball. Sends it up to Oren Hannon, who's dispossessed by Sean McCullen. And can see the free kick in doing so. Oren Hannon will stand over this one. Oren Hannon hang this one up. Goes out for a corner. Goal kick. Yellow card for number eight, Stephen Shark. He must have been for descent. Some confusion here. Looks like it's gone for a corner. And the referee has booked Stephen Sharkey for an earlier tackle. Rock Celtic corner. It's very deep into the first half of extra time. He plays it short to Aaron McQuillan. Aaron McQuillan tries to have a shot but sends it over high and wide. <laughs> Referee has a look at his watch. I think we'll be coming to the end of the first half here. Really sends the ball long to Orna Hanlon, who and now referee signals the end of the first half of extra time. Also signals for a quick turnaround, no time for a mess, no time for, for a team talk or for a drink. Straight back into it. About to kick off the second half, extra time. Substitution Rock Celtic. On comes number 13. Niall Henry. Sean Bailey with a nice ball around the back for Eamon Rogers, who plays it short. Oh, unlucky from Niall Ferguson. He struck it early with the left foot. Just on the outside of the top corner. Out for a goal, goal kick for Owen Flanagan. Owen Flanagan's kick out, which has been long the whole way through the game, dropped a bit short there, but it was picked up anyway by Adam Garland, who plays for Adam Ornahan and seems to have dropped back a little bit. Picked up number 14, Drew Kieran's. Drops back to number 13, Niall Henry. Tries to turn around the corner but loses possession of the ball. Luke McArdle picks it up very well. Number five, Adam Hoban. Plays it back to his keeper, Owen Flanagan. Yeah, Luke, Luke, 
Brian McGarry sends it long, looking for number 10, Rory Kirk. It just runs out for a Rampart Celtic throw in. Referee doesn't generate with that, says play on. Rory Cook gets possession of the ball over there in the corner. Under pressure from Gavin Lennon. Gavin Lennon wins it back. Sends it out for a off number 10 for a Rampart Celtic throw. Brian Soren left back in possession of the ball sends it long looking for Niall Henry number 7 Conor Brady in possession of the ball dispossessed by number 15 Steve McCullen. Long ball. Oh, could be in trouble here. It looks like he was clean through on goal. Keeper Red One could be in trouble. Is he looking at a yellow or is he looking at a red? And we'll have to wait and see if it's a yellow. He'll stay on the pitch. It was certainly a goal scoring opportunity. I don't know if it was a penalty. Was it inside the box? Was it outside the box? So the penalty? Yeah, yeah, we're getting it from my our cameraman here, Eamon, telling me it is a penalty indeed. Very disappointing. I think, in fact, really might have been quite lucky to stay on the pitch. Bit of a chance to redeem himself here. Owen Hanlon, captain, goal scorer, stands up. Referee having a word with the teams to stay off outside the box. In, Referee taking his time over this one, in, giving Orna Hanlon time to think, possibly too much time to think. Captain Orna Hanlon standing over it, Ridwan playing mind games. Comes off the post, Orna Hanlon has missed, he has missed the penalty. How very unlucky from Orna Hanlon. Come straight back off the post. Get organized. Get back and share. Uh, very unlucky for Mr. Allen. Ridwan comes, claims the ball, keeps possession of that ball. Ridley sends it high and long. Number two, Frank McCoy deals with it. Picked up by number eight, Stephen Sharkey. Owen Flanagan for the goal kick. Rock Celtic to be making the change. Looks like Rampart Celtic could also be making the change here as well. Manager Kieran Pickering calling for a substitution. Number 11, Niall Ferguson coming off. Scored two goals. Had a good game. Number 18, Dara Akinidi. Akinidi coming on. So Dara and Eddie joins the, joins the game. Long kick from Owen Flanagan. Picked up by number seven, Connor Brady. 
Out of play when the number 16, Paul Gray, got it out of his feet, put it out for a touch. Number 15, Peter Wolf, Ramparts for Rock Salic has joined the game as well. Oh, and it's a goal for Ramparts or Rock Salic. Ramparts had a caught in possession, the ball lost possession. Number 13, Niall Henry, tucked it away in the bottom corner. Gave out keeper Ridwan absolutely no chance. Very, very deep into this second half of extra time. Score is Rock Celtic 3, Rampart Celtic 3. Dare I say, could we be headed for the dreaded penos? Rampart Celtic looking lively, trying to get this one done. Have to say, what a game this has been, guys. Absolutely fantastic to watch. The 14 Sean McQuillan sends it out for a touch. Let's get another substitution from Rock Celtic. Oh, maybe the ref isn't happy with the encroachment of the fans on that side of the pitch. There's only a couple of minutes left here. Brian Sorhan, left back. Dara Kinetic loses possession of the ball, picked back up by Stephen Sharkey in the centre of the pitch. Wins a free kick. Rock Celtic don't seem to be in any hurry to get this game going. Looks like they're happy with the scoreline as it is. Number 15, Peter Wolf, just wasting a bit of time. Gavin Lennon, standing over the ball. I reckon he'll put this one in high and on the penalty spot. Doubt about the rock Celtic defence. They come out in numbers, not giving any time on the ball. Couple of minutes left in the second half of extra time. Clancy Cup final. Scores Rampart Celtic 3, Rock Celtic 3. Penalties are looming for both teams here. It's been a long, long night. It's getting cold. 30 seconds left in this half. Sean Bailey gets possession of the ball. Dealt with by the number four, Fair Crow Hannon. Plays it off to number three, Brian Soren. Plays a long ball up, looking for number 14. Stephen Sharkey looking for Sean Bailey. Out far on that left wing. It runs out for touch. Rock Celtic throw. Referee looks at his watch. This could be it. Rock Celtic send it long. Number 15, Peter Wolf. <coughs> Gets possession. Number 14, Drew Kieran's caught offside. Rampart Celtic get one last kick at the ball. <laughs> Paul Gray sends it long. That with number 11, Aaron Hanlon has had a hell of a game. 14, Luke McCartan takes possession back to right back and captain Owen McGuinness sends it along back up to Luke McCardle, the goal scorer with that wonderful goal, wonderful volley. 
Keeper says it's gone for a corner. This could be the last chance of the game. That Owen Flanagan, keeper Owen Flanagan is very unhappy with that decision. He picks up a yellow card for his protests. A lot of Black Rock player, Rock Celtic players unhappy. This should be the very last kick of the game. Can Rampart Celtic pull something out of the bag here? Number nine, Sean Bailey goes over. Rock Celtic bring everybody back into their own box. Everybody but two men in the box. It goes long, it goes deep, it's dealt with by Drew Kieran's. And that's it, we're heading for penalties here in the Clancy Cup Final 2021. It's Rampart Celtic 3, Rock Celtic 3. What a game this has been. And we head for the dreaded penalties. What an evening this has been. Fantastic football and show from both teams. An absolute showpiece for the local leagues. Three all. Both teams are in the lead. Both teams come back from behind. Two goals in extra time. What a game for the spectators. As we have for the penalties. Five kicks each. To decide the Clancy Cup final. Where else you go? Bring your close up. Would you get that in there, Seeing who puts their hand up. It's a brave decision by any player to put a hand up. All you can do is pick your spot and hit it hard. A few friendly faces around the pitch here at the minute. We can see assistant manager David Mooney over there. Seems to have lost his voice. Rampart Celtic can sell the deep into a huddle, getting ready to go. Captain Owen Hannon, I have to say, has had a fantastic game today. He's been everywhere in the pitch. He's done every single job. He's scored. He's got booked. He's done everything he's needed to do. It'd be very hard to pick a man of a match in this game. But he'd certainly be up there in the top two. Looks like we'll be heading into the turn end. Kieran Pickham with the words of inspiration for his team here. What's important is everybody's enjoyed the game. Hardest job and a penalty shoot has obviously been the keeper. Ramparts are taking their time. They try the penalties. Here we go. So it looks like we're shooting into the, the key end here in Clancy Park, to the right hand side of your picture. All down to keepers Ridwan Bodrin and Owen Flanagan here. Number first up for Rock Celtic is number 13. I think that's Niall Henry. Right footed, takes his four steps, dips to the right. And he dispatched it neatly into the left hand corner. Good penalty. A stuttered run. First up, Rampart Celtic. Number seven, captain, chairman, club stalwart, Owen McGuinness. Owen 
planning with the mind games, trying to put him off. Oh, I'm going to put the straight run. I'm very unfortunate to miss that one. But out of your mind, these things happen. Next up a ramp for Rock Celtics number four, Fikro Hannon. He's already scored in this game. Against Rizal and Budrun. And he misses. He's missed. Rampart chance to equalise the game here. So that's one goal Rock and one miss for Rock Celtic. One miss so far for Rampart Celtic. Number three, Eamon Rogers. Against Keeper Owen Flanagan. No stopping that penalty. Exactly where you want it. Just high enough to beat the keeper and slightly to the right. Next up for um, Rock Static number 14. So it's all square here, one goal each and one miss each. Number 14 for Rock Celtic is Drew Kieran's, another one on the substitutes. He's had a good game since he's come on as well. Keep a rich one, already as he's known. Stands tall. Oh, he just snuck underneath him. There was enough power behind it just to get past the keeper. Keeper guessed the right way. Number eight, Stephen Sharkey. Score two one. Stephen Sharkey for Rampart Celtic. Ooh, keeper got a hand to it, but just wasn't strong enough. Good penalty with Sharkey. Two all. Rock Celtic number two. Frank McGorry. Up against Rampart Celtic number one. Ridwan. Bodron. Slow run. Oh, he was lucky there. The keeper got a strong hand to deflect it up into the top of the net. Could very easily have deflected it. 3 2 to Rock Celtic. Number 9 for Rampart Celtic, Sean Bailey. Shows the referee his number. Place the ball. Take six steps back and heads it home. Keep around the wrong way. Three all. Penalty number five, I believe. Rock Celtic captain, goal scorer, Orn Annan. Against Ridwan Badrun. Oh, gets another hand to us. It's all down to this one. Number 15. Sean McQuillan. Four three, last penalty. Fifteen Sean McQuillan against number one Owen Flanagan. Puts it down, stamps his lit studs in. Looks confident. And puts it away. Obsessed number five for Rock Celtic, Adam Hoban. We're in sudden debt now. <laughs> oh, 
Off the crossbar for Adam Hoban. Rampart Celtic deciding who's going to take the penalty. It should have been decided before now. Okay, it's number 14, Luke McArdle. Gets the opportunity to stand up, step up, and possibly win it for Rampart Celtic. Slow walk up. Picks up the ball. Places it. Confident walk back. And scores it. That's it. Luke, Luke McCarl wins it for Rampart Celtic. Rampart Celtic Football Club 2021 Clancy Cup winners. Retainers of the Clancy Cup two years in a row. What a result. Unlucky to Rock Celtic. What a, what a, what a fantastic game. It's a horrible way to win a game on penalties. To lose a game on penalties, I mean. Rampart Celtic obviously delighted with themselves. Rampart Celtic hold on to the game. Hold on to the cup, I mean. They win the Clancy Cup 2021. Final score here from Clancy Park. Rampart Celtic 3, Rock Celtic 3. Rampart Celtic win it. 5 4 in penalties. After sudden death. Yeah, bit of order, lads. Bit of order. Uh, <laughs> but um, I want to say, um, I think that's about the most dramatic Clancy Cup final I've seen in years. And I have to say congratulations to both sides for producing a wonderful, epic match here tonight. And uh, our condolences, first of all, to Rock Celtic, to really played a wonderful part in, in a great final. <coughs> the, uh, our first uh, call of duty tonight is for the Man of the Match Award, which Torina Kelly here will present to uh, Gavin Lennon of uh, yeah, Rampart yeah, Sutton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our next presentation now is for the linesmen and the referees. So I would call the linesmen to come up first to get the presentation. Well done. Well done, Adrian. And our referee, Mr. Phillips. Yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. And uh, finally, to present the cup, uh, we will call on Terry Kelly. Uh, a nephew of the great Jimmy Clancy and uh, we call on the captain now of Rampart Celtic. You need to change the tab, Gaff, that's handy. But you collect, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, 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 for what was, I think, the final that everybody that was here will remember for a long time. Thank you all. Um, 
I don't think I deserve this after that penalty, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to fucking take it. Um, no, like, first of all, uh, Rock, like I played one or two years. That's an amazing team you have there. Keep it together. Don't don't let it go. We could have scored seven times. You would have come back seven times. It was tough. We we were we were trying to see it out, and we couldn't. You kept coming at us. Horrible way for you to lose, but I hope you keep that team together. It was a fantastic performance, and commiserations. You didn't deserve to go out like that. But thanks very much. Savage game. Um, I don't really want to lift this on my own. Um, 15 years I'm playing with Ramparts. This is the second time, 16, second time I got to lift this. It's been a pleasure, but there's one man's been with me, uh, Pico. I'd like him to lift it with me if that's okay. Thanks a million to my team. And uh, get up here, you. I'm not lifting on my own. A rough skip. There you go. There we go, guys. Right. <laughs> there we go, guys. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah.